So can fish catch disease by introduced corals or live rock? The answer in reality is pretty much no, but technically the answer is yes. When fish um, are sick, they will usually have issues with pathogens. Those pathogens will usually have a life cycle, and the life cycle of the pathogens will mean that the um, pathogens will drop off the fish and they will go onto a hard surface where the um, pathogens will reduplicate and then they'll come back looking for a new host. So if you have live rock and potentially corals or bases of corals, then it is technically possible that pathogens could be on those, um, those structures. So when you put the coral into the tank, it is technically possible that you could introduce a pathogen. But in reality, it pretty much doesn't happen because the fish should have good immune systems. If the fish have got good immune systems, the body slime and antigens should be well equipped to repel any sorts of pathogens. But technically, it is possible. So if the fish had very low immune systems, their antigens were not being produced, their antibodies were not being produced, their body slime was not being produced, then the pathogens that could come on a coral could actually make the fish sick. So it is technically possible, but in reality it basically never happens. If you wanted to safeguard against this, you could quarantine your corals for a month. In general, this is very unnecessary, but you could actually do it.